Hey, Fred from the Laptop Barn here. Today we're going to show you how to change the keyboard on a Dell Latitude 7490 laptop. This one's a little more involved than most, as you're going to see from the sequence of steps we're going to show you of what you got to do. So first of all, turn the laptop over and you got to take the bottom case off. Several screws around the perimeter that you are going to remove. This uh, keyboard design is such that you got to take literally everything out of the inside of this to get to it. Many other designs come from the front, but this one is one of the more difficult. Okay, we're going to have to start taking stuff off because we got to get to the keyboard underneath all of the motherboard and battery stuff. So, okay, first thing you can see we're going to do is we're going to remove the battery. There's some screws and a connector that get that out of the way. Then we're going to take out the hard drive. There's one mount screw on the hard drive. And we will remove it. Good idea to keep your screws separate here because you're going to take a lot of them out. Now we're going to go down and move this little bracket. Keep it with its screw. And there is another little piece of a connector right there that has to be unplugged. Then we're going to come over and remove the bracket that's on the uh, cards in the slots on the other side. Disconnect there. Uh, one of them is the Wi-Fi. Disconnect the antenna. Now come back. There's a bracket just above the memory there. Got to take those brackets off. Save the screws. Take the brackets. Put the bracket uh, somewhere where you're going to remember where it is. Okay. And now we're going down in the lower corner, removing that adapter and its screw. And another screw there holding the motherboard in. We're trying to get the motherboard loosened up. We have to lift the motherboard up to get that keyboard out of there. We're going to try not to disconnect all the connectors, uh, just enough so that we can lift it up. So... Right now we're taking off all the screws that hold that motherboard assembly in. And we are going to begin to pry it up. And you can see there it's lifting up. Now the connectors to the keyboard themselves are right there. That's the keyboard connectors. And we're going to just, you pop up the zero insertion force connector and they just slide out. A little bar pops up on the connector and those slide out. So now we've got the keyboard is not electrically connected. Now we got to mechanically undo all the screws that hold that keyboard. We're on the bottom side of the keyboard right now. Undoing um, all the screws that are holding it against the frame. Go all the way around. There's a whole bunch of these. Keep your screws all together because you're going to quite shortly have to put them all back in. Go completely around the perimeter. The mechanical engineer that designed this had a concern about how it was going to stay down because he sure over-engineered the number of screws it needs. But hey... Okay, again, working our way around all that big handful of screws that held the keyboard to the frame. Now we're going to lift that up. Okay, now there it is. Now you've got the keyboard assembly itself in your hand. Now it's mounted, the keyboard's mounted onto this back plate. So you've got to re remove the keyboard from the back plate. There's some screws that are exposed now in between a few of the keys. You can see how we're working our way around and unscrewing all the screws. Now that should pop away from that back plate. Okay, at this point you've got the old one out and now you grab a new keyboard and we're going to reverse this lengthy process. Okay, first thing you're going to do, put it back on the back plate. Locate the pile of screws that you made from that disassembly and we're going to reassemble them into the same slots that you just took the old one out of 
you're going to mount those screws. Now we've got the keyboard mounted back to the mounting plate. Flip it upside down and slide it very carefully into its position. The connectors slide underneath. It seats down so it's against the gasket. Now you gather up that gazillion screws that it took to assemble it and you put them all back in all the way around the perimeter saying thank you thank you to the design engineer as you do this hopefully you don't have carpal tunnel syndrome from pushing all these screws around okay we're going around the perimeter again this is one of the more difficult keyboards uh, Dells are usually designed a lot better than this this is a, one of the more difficult ones to replace but eh, it's only 10 minutes or so so if you watch this video you'll become an expert and you can do it in 11 minutes on your first try 10 minutes on your second try okay as we continue around we are assembling all those screws that we just took out i'm not bothering to count them because it's too many to count as an ex-mechanical engineer i'm appalled but anyway okay here we go um lots of screws that baby is securely snug fit to that back plate it ain't going nowhere a florida hurricane ain't moving that thing okay now flip the motherboard back over top of that it's a little tricky to locate just take your time and put it back the way it was there's some locating pins there we tried not to unplug everything sometimes it's a little harder if you don't but for demonstration purposes here we did not unplug everything from the motherboard we tried to keep some of them intact so it's a little tricky you gotta make sure you get those wires all tucked into where they originally were once you get it in the right position it'll slide right back in there just like butter on a slice of bread there we go getting it down there sometimes a little tricky the um The connectors, um, you gotta be careful to get those connectors up towards the top of the assembly. And then you thread those babies in there so it snaps right in place. Okay. And then pushing down to make sure everything's seated before you put the screws in. <laughs> the motherboard assembly has got those brackets that go on the top that we took off earlier put the brackets back and their screws and continue on with each of the brackets that you took off in the first part of this process might come up with your own little way of setting those out when you take them out to know the, what sequence you want to put them back in but as you can see in most cases it doesn't matter which one of these brackets you put on first you just got to get them all on and then at some point you're going to need to re-seat this wire in that lower left hand corner of the case just make sure it's tucked in there so it's not in the way and then uh, continuing on we still got a couple more brackets along with their screws and again being very careful to make sure that you got all the wires tucked where they belong just so they're not in the way of when you put the two sides of the assembly together You've got to route that wireless antenna around and snap it onto the wireless card they're a little tricky sometimes you got to get them just perfectly square then push down on them and they snap right on if you take a look at the end of it you'll see uh, you'll see what i mean that's got a, it's a little round connector that uh, slips right together okay 
Okay. We had that wireless card routed a little. It was actually caught a little bit, so we're going to reroute that. Show you again how you assemble the wireless antenna cable. Just pops on. The second card there is actually a cell phone card. You're, not all laptops are going to have that. If it does, you got to hook the wire back up to that. Again, it just once you get it routed properly, it just pops on. And you may or may not, like I mentioned, actually have that second card. And if you, once you get it in the right position, you push down on it. Now just tuck those wires back. Now you got to screw the motherboard down. You'd, the, the screws that you took out of the motherboard, replace those. You can see the location where we're putting those. There's a little bracket that goes on top of the cell phone there to hold the connector on. A little bracket that goes on top of the, well the other one was the wireless card. This is the cell phone. And it that little bracket with a screw just holds that connector on. There's a screw back there. Now we're going to plug the keyboard back in. You push it in and drop the handle. Just insert it and then pull the handle. The old white handle pulls back over and that's what holds it in place. Insert and drop the handle. Those connectors that electrically connect the keyboard. Okay, now you're going to put the hard drive back in. with its screw and got another screw right there let's see we have any screws left over we got the battery now to put back in locate it the electrical connector plugs into the motherboard there's a couple of screws that hold the battery in place and now we put the back cover on and we're going to go around and put the screws in the, and you're good to go. Sometimes it, it, sometimes we'll, we won't put the back plate on. We'll check the keyboard before just in case something wasn't right. Save yourself having to reassemble the keyboard. But that's all there is to it. You changed the keyboard on a Dell 7490 Latitude. Thanks for watching. If you like this, hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel. Visit us on eBay. We sell laptops under the name Skis 3535. I'll put a link below on how to get into our store. Thanks for watching.